Geometry 216, two rules for similar triangles. Let me show you something real quick first. See this? That's the symbol that means similarity. Okay? So, here's the first rule. All pairs of corresponding angles must be congruent. That means if you're comparing this one to this one, that See these two top red ones here, A and D? Those are corresponding angles because this one is in the same place as this one. And B corresponds to E because they're both in the bottom left-hand corner. And C corresponds to F because they're both in the right, bottom right-hand corner. So those are corresponding angles, okay? But they must be congruent. So A must equal D, B must equal E, and C must equal F. And I don't mean that they must be sort of the same, they must equal that. So if B is a 45 degree angle, then E has to be a 45 degree angle, okay? So here's the second rule. The three pairs of corresponding sides must be in proportion to each other. So they either need to be equal, okay? They need, either need to be equal or they need to be similar, okay? So, or in proportion to, okay? So, here's what that means. Here you've got triangle ABC and triangle DEF. This one has sides that are all two. Let's say that's two inches or whatever, okay? But their sides all equal two. It's an equilateral triangle. And then DEF has sides that are all four. Yeah, these two are similar because I'm sure the angles are all the same because this one is just double the size of that one perfectly, okay? Now, if you compare it to this triangle, DEF, this one has a side of 4, 4, and this one's got a side of 5. So, no, this one is not uh, similar, and this, the, the corresponding sides are not in proportion with each other because AC is 2 and DF is 4, so that's perfect. This one's double the size of that one. But this one comes out of left field with its measure of 5, so it makes it so this is not similar to that one or to that one. It broke the rules. So the other thing is you can reverse the definition of what similar triangles are to prove that they're similar. You can go backwards, okay? So you can say, you know, because this rule says that the three pairs must be in proportion. So in a proof, you can say, well, I've got a triangle that has three sides that are in proportion, so they must be similar. So you go in the other direction. All right? So the sides of similar triangles are proportional. They are proportional. Make a ratio for the length of two corresponding sides that can be a comparison of the side lengths of one triangle to another triangle. So if we're comparing these two, like I said down here, if this is a 2 and that's a 4 and these are all 2s, then you know what? These are similar triangles. This is a 2, that's a 4, the ratio is 2 to 4, or you could even say it's 1 to 2, there's a 1 here, there's 1, 2 here, and 2 twos here, see? So they are similar because this DEF is just double the size of this one. So yeah, it's in proportion, okay? All right, so that brings us to this. The ratio of the measure of any two corresponding sides. Now remember what corresponding sides means. It means the sides that you're comparing, okay? The ratio of the measure of any two corresponding sides of similar triangles, you know, or polygons, because triangles are polygons, is called the ratio of similitude. Similitude. Like similar. Similitude. All right? It's called the ratio of similitude when the measure of two corresponding sides of, of similar triangles are similar, okay? It tells you the size relationship of one triangle to another. So you could say, excuse me, uh, what's the ratio of similitude for these? And you'd say, oh, you know, it's one to two. This one's double that one. That's the ratio of similitude. Does that make sense to you? I hope so. I hope I wasn't too confusing. I know this all can be confusing sometimes, but that will tell you the two rules for similar triangles, the ratio of similitude, new phrase for you, and now you know the symbol 
for something that's similar for similarity. Okay? Pardon my focus there. I always have trouble with my focus. All right. I'll see you folks next video. Keep plugging. I'm proud of you.